welcome to Bex Bug Out Survivor Quick Tips. So I was reading on a forum um, a guy who made a very very simple lantern on one of them camping blogs. In here are tea light candles. I have about five, three hours each, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen hours of light available to me here. Each burning for around three hours, they claim, but even at two hours, it's still ten hours in total there. And the guy on the blog reckons this kind of jar. So this is cow and gate baby food jar. And the guy on the blog reckons that his candle fits almost perfectly, and indeed it does. Next comes the reflector, any kind of tin foil. I've got two here to show you. This is something like you'd have your Chinese meals delivered in, and then it would have a paper lid here. And here is that paper lid here. So I can fold that and put that in as a reflector. Look at the ideal fit for that. And I've tied a special knot to hang this on and I'll show you the knot in a different episode because it is very, very complicated and an s beaner how simple can that be inside i can also stow all the other candles that i need for the camp like i said i've got five there giving between 10 and 15 hours this is the neoprene sleeve for the uco micro which also fits perfectly for this so I've got some good protection while it's in the pack. I've ha never had any problems with candle lanterns. If you're using gas lanterns or any other kind of fuel, don't use them in tents. Candles are generally pretty safe when it comes to CO, the carbon dioxide. If you're in any doubt, get yourself a little detector or simply just keep these outside. I'm going to light this up now at night so you can see it and in comparison I think I will do a side by side with this and my UCO lantern that also takes um, tea light candles. <laughs> 